Investigators also taking a closer look at the lawsuit, which includes claims regarding what Precinct 1 Constable Alan Rosen knew about this case. The constable is also responding to those allegations. Investigator Mario Diaz continues our live team coverage now from Precinct 1 headquarters right there downtown. So, Mario, what have you learned tonight? And I'm going to build off of Andy here, Chris, because of the fact that he mentioned internal affairs. We do know that they were contacted, according to one agency. Now, Constable Rosen is saying that it was he who actually instructed them proactively to launch the investigation. But as for Constable Rosen, who normally is very much outgoing with the media and conducting interviews, he has not been seen today. All of his responses coming via a statement. In the current climate, the public has asked for transparency. I believe in this wholeheartedly. This was Harris County Constable Alan Rosen on Friday before the cameras addressing the arrest of personnel for alleged sex assault of a child. This morning, in a different case, new allegations against other members. We will not be silent. We will continue to advocate and we will for our fight for our rights and others. A federal civil lawsuit filed by four women in the constable's office claiming Rosen's human trafficking unit conducted bachelor party style stings and used inexperienced deputies. Attorney Court Akers making this stunning claim. Constable Rosen appeared at one of these operations personally. Transparency by Rosen on this day didn't come on camera, but in a lengthy statement. I proactively instructed our Internal Affairs Division to conduct an investigation, says Rosen. However, the DA's office says in its statement that after they learned of the claims, the Sex Crimes Division quickly asked Constable Precinct 1 Internal Affairs to investigate. Rosen says the federal lawsuit is an effort to dispute the truth and the reputation of his office. However, when KPRC2 investigates asked if the human trafficking operations remain in place, Rosen sent the following statement. We have suspended these types of operations as a result of our investigation. And so those operations, again, according to Rosen, are completely done, suspended at this time. Um, I will tell you that the attorney, one of the attorneys for the alleged victims in this case, Bill Ogden, sent out a statement after Rosen's uh, media statement coming at about 3.50 this afternoon. In that statement, he writes, at no point does he, meaning Constable Rosen, deny that the abuse alleged in the lawsuit actually occurred. KPRC2 investigates will stay on this story. Live in Houston, Mario Diaz, KPRC 2 News.